I am a culinary enthusiast that has a wild passion for taste and a pursuit of perfection as it relates to all things edible. From my show-stopping key lime grouper with a coconut mojito sauce to my very popular Floribian melt-in-your-mouth beef skillet roast. I have made Floribian cuisine a relevant affair. I am Chef Winston Williams from the United States Virgin Islands, VI, America's paradise. I am the proud owner of Catering CC, a full service food and beverage catering company located in sunny South Florida. I have catered well over a thousand events that includes weddings, corporate events, social gatherings, special events, served numerous celebrities and five Super Bowls, appeared in numerous local and national media and created a YouTube channel and a weekly live cooking show called Date Night Live. I am also a catering coach and chef instructor. Join me as I share my love of cooking, Chef Winston Creations with a Floribian twist. Don't forget, Let's stay connected. Join me on all social platforms on Catering CC or Chef Winston Cooks. Also, if you want to cook like Chef Winston, have those flavors, find our spices at cateringcc.com. That is Chef Winston Cooks and Catering CC on social platforms. And get our spices at cateringcc.com. Cheers. Let's get refreshed. We've got a coconut in my hand. What we're gonna do? Some coconut mojito. That's right. We're gonna do a classical cocktail in the Caribbean. And you know Chef Winston always brings his Floribian twist to it. That's what I'm gonna do with you guys this afternoon. A coconut mojito. Let's get going. The components, very easy, very simple. This is what we're gonna do. We've got some fresh lime. You're gonna cut your lime, cut it up into small pieces. Nothing fancy. Just and put it into a glass. Look at what I'm doing here. Yeah, cook it up mojito, baby. This is gonna be some good stuff. Now, of course, we got the mint. Mmm, we got some mint. What we gotta do, we gotta wake that bad boy up. Slap your mint a little bit, put that in there as well. We're making coconut mojito, don't forget that. This drink here is one of our most requested when we're doing a co um, catering gig with cocktails and stuff. Let's have a mojito, chef. Mojito, great signature dish, great option for you guys as well. So now, following with that, right, I'm gonna put some creme of coconut. Okay, this is my simple syrup, basically. My simple syrup. And we're gonna put some more lime juice in here. So now what I'm gonna do now, this is called a muddler. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna squeeze and muddle get all of the juices, the fragrance, everything coming out. Oh, it's gonna be so, so, so good, right? Now look at this. Get it, all these good juices out of here. Next, we're gonna continue building. Look at what I got. Fresh coconut. What am I gonna do with this? We're gonna crack this bad boy open. Nice coconut water, that's right. Look at this, get this water. Oh, hey. All live cooking, baby. Make it mess, that's what we do in the kitchen. You just clean it up. That's all we gotta do, right? Clean it up and make it look nice. All right, getting back to our coconut mojito, baby. All right, put that down here. As you, as you saw, I cracked my coconut, put it in here. We got a little debris. We gotta strain it out, okay? Doing that, just get a little strainer. Fresh coconut. Everything is nice and fresh, that's right. Put some in here. Ooh, look at that. Put that in here. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and take a frosted glass. Take a look at this. We got a frosted glass. We're gonna put some ice. Get some rum, coconut rum that is. Oh, mm, the smell already is smelling good. Can't wait to taste this. Regular rum, that's some regular white rum and coconut rum. We're gonna take our shaker, frosted glass, put the ice inside, dump this inside, cover it up, shake. That's right, baby, shake it up. 
Ah, look at what we got here, baby. Take a look at this. Woo! We are coming here, coconut mojito. Chef Winston style. And just to make it a little more sexy, I'm gonna take some of the juice of my lime and I'm gonna just dab a little bit of coconut on here. Make it look nice. We gotta make it look sexy, right? Make the food look nice and sexy. Right here like that. Get a piece of mint. Float that right here. How sexy does this look? Chef Winston, coconut Caribbean cocktail. Coconut mojito, baby. I'm gonna give it a taste. Let's see what we make working with. Woo! This right here is a winner. Winner, winner. Oh, this is so, so good. You know what? It's missing one ingredient. Of course, I forgot one last thing. You gotta finish it off with a splash of club soda. That is the complete process right here, baby. Now, now we talking coconut mojito, baby. Cheers. We're about to get fresh. We're about to get flavor once again. What are we gonna do? Shrimp scampi. Then shrimp scampi, you, you know and love, but of course with Chef Winston Twist. My Floribian twist, that is. We can have some fun doing this one. Shrimp scampi, everybody knows and love it. Watch what I'm gonna do with this. Of course, I've got some fresh Florida Gulf shrimp. We're gonna take the shells off. You're gonna, wait, wait till you see what I'm gonna do with this. This is gonna be so much fun. A lot of flavor we're building up here, guys. All right, we finished peeling our shrimp. Let's move on to the next step. What we're gonna do next is this. Get your pan hot, a nice little hot pan. What I'm making, guys, is a shrimp stock. This is something you don't usually see with a shrimp scampi. It's gonna be quick, but flavorful at the same time. My shrimp shells, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take an onion. Take an onion, and I'm gonna slice my onion. You notice I didn't peel it. I'll show you why I didn't peel it. It's all flavor, baby. We cooking with flavor. Chef Winston Floribian style. Got a nice little hot pan. Put a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of E-V-O-O -O in here. Pop, pop, sizzle, sizzle. We know we cooking, right? Put an onion in here. That's right. Let's mix this up a little bit. Turn up the heat a little, just a little. The smell already. It's insane. Look at this. So what I'm gonna do next, my shrimp shell, waste not, want not. We're gonna use everything. That's what Chef Winston do. We put it in here. You're gonna create some beautiful, beautiful flavors. I'm gonna take some white wine. Add some white wine. I'm creating a stock. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water. We're gonna cook this for a few minutes. Bring this up on a higher temperature. Put a little bit of color, just a little pinch of paprika. Make it look sexy, that's right. Coming in here. So while that's cooking up, right, I'm gonna continue prepping my other items. The shrimp that I cook, that I clean, I'm gonna take my shrimp and I'm butter butterflying them. What is butterflying? Be careful when you're doing this. All I'm doing is opening it and making it look like a butterfly. That's right, look at that. Simple dimple. The reason I'm doing this, once the shrimp cooks, it opens up and it folds out and it looks full on the plate. And it's a beautiful presentation and it's some good eating. That's right. That's right, my goodness. When I'm doing this here with my catering, we do these action stations. We go to the party, a wedding or whatever, and they actually want, hey, chef, we would like to have a station. Our shrimp scampi station is so amazing. We're right there just sauteing fresh shrimp, fresh garlic, tossing it up in butter, pasta, uh, pesto, and some pasta. The guests absolutely love that stuff. So what I'm showing you guys right here is another twist of 
shrimp scampi, my Floribian style shrimp scampi. I know a lot of you are asking, what is Floribian? I'm from the United States Virgin Islands, America's paradise. Living in Florida, you know Florida is a big melting pot of flavors. The Caribbean, Latino, South America, Latin, oh man. All those beautiful flavors that you would see in the Caribbean and Latin areas, right here in South Florida, we grow on those same fresh freshness citruses down there. So take, bringing my Virgin Islands roots, my Caribbean roots to Florida, the Floribian cuisine is now relevant. That's right, baby. So while I got this and my shrimp stock is cooking, can you guys get a close up on that? Look at this. Let me add a little more water because we want to use this stock. Oh man, a little touch of salt. You got to make it taste good, right? A little touch of salt. Let me turn this up. Mmm, the smell is amazing already, guys. So what I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to season my shrimp with, what do we have here? Chef Winston's jerk seasoning. This is my own personal seasoning blend. For years I've been trying to make my own seasoning blend. Finally had an opportunity to see, you know what, the pandemic shut us down. Had time to create one. This is the first of many to come. This is my jerk seasoning, the hot version. We're going to season the shrimp with this. Right here, let me open it up a little bit here. All the beautiful blends, flavors. Oh, guys, if you see the smell, oh, it's amazing. Season this up here. Put it back up here. And my seasoning blends too. If you're interested in cooking like Chef Winston and feel and taste what Chef Winston got to offer, so you can ha have that in your own kitchen, you can find my seasoning blends at cateringcc.com. That's right, there'll be a link on there where you can find my seasoning blends, okay? So, this is here working, working hard. And I'm gonna go ahead and strain this. Okay guys, look at that. Smelling so good, fragrant. We've got the seafood, we got the shrimp. Good. So what I'm gonna do next is gonna strain this, okay? Take this here, strain. That's the reason I did not peel the onions earlier. You remember he was asking, I, I told you that about that? Now look at this beautiful shrimp stock. Huh? The beauty of this shrimp stock right here. Flavor already inside of this. This is only phase one. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Wait till you see what happens next. As, of course. Now, I'm gonna take, let me get this out of the way. And we're gonna bring on, and we're gonna start cooking. I've got my cooked pasta already. Everything is here ready for us to roll. So let me continue here. In the meantime, let me just slide this over. While my pan is getting hot, put this down a little bit. Clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna cut some tomatoes. Tomatoes are gonna go into this dish as well. Let me get that ready. Some nice chunks of tomatoes. If you got some good knife skills, just take your time. If you all don't, we don't want you to cut yourself. We want you to have fun while you're cooking, okay? And I've got some beautiful garlic. We're gonna slice it. You can buy some crushed garlic from the store, but I like my sliced garlic. And this is gonna be so flavorful, guys. My Floribian style shrimp scampi, that is. If everything is in the prep, once you have everything in order, this dish goes by really, really fast. You're gonna impress your friends. Even if you got a date, bring a date over, you're gonna impress that date. She's gonna wanna come back for more. Oh, he. That's right. So check this out. I've got my pan getting hot. Nice little skillet. E-V-O-O, -O, a little olive oil. Okay. I've got my shrimp, my jerk seasoned. Chef Winston jerk seasoned shrimp in here. Oh, baby. The smell is amazing. Woo! The smell. It's so great, making me cough, making me gasp, making me want to just dive in and have some fun with this food. Oh, pop, pop, scissor, scissor, baby. Yes, mmm. So now the shrimp is not fully cooked. When, when you're cooking shrimp, you don't want to fully cook your shrimp because I'm going to continue cooking it in the sauce. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to remove the shrimp. 
if you notice, look how beautiful. The colors, the smell, it's amazing. So what I'm gonna do right now, continue cooking up, turn my pan back on. So what's next, we're gonna start building this particular dish. What I'm gonna do now, add a little bit more, it's a little dry, I add a little bit more of my EVOO, my extra virgin olive oil, that's right. Add that in there, and I'm gonna take my garlic, put my garlic in here, get that sauteed up. Let me turn my heat up a little bit more. Mmm, the smell permeating through the kitchen. If, if, if there was smell of vision going on right now, you guys would understand what we're talking about here, okay? So check this out. This is gonna be a cool addition. Add some tomatoes for color, a little bit of juiciness and freshness, more freshness in this dish. Now here's where the fun begins. Shrimp scampi, we, everybody knows we use white wine. I used the white wine already, it's already inside my shrimp stock. But what I got here is some very good lager beer. That's right, I'm gonna deglaze my pan with this beer. Ah, oh, look at this baby. It lends a different flavor, but it's gonna be oh so good. We're gonna let this here boil down and simmer down and reduce. This is what we call it in the culinary world. We're reducing, concentrating flavors to make it taste good, okay? Boil, 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 baby. Boil, boil, boil. The bear is going, everybody is working together and having a merry grand old time. So as this hair reduces, guys, I'm gonna make what you call a slurry. A slurry basically is a thickening agent. You can use flour and water. In my case, I'm gonna use some water and cornstarch. And the reason I'm using this, when I'm making my sauce, I'm trying to bulletproof it. I'm trying to make it a nice creamy texture. So when I add the butter, it's gonna be oh so nice and creamy and silky and it's gonna stick to that pasta. So every bite is gonna be love in your mouth. That's right. That's right. We're having fun here cooking up Chef Winston cuisines with a Floribian twist. That's right. So here we go. Let me put this on the side. This hair is reducing very, very well. It's smelling so good. You remember the shrimp stock? The old flavorful shrimp stock? We're gonna add that to this dish. Turn this up even more. Let it boil down. Simmer, simmer, simmer. Yes. Let this reduce down. As this is reducing, let me add a little bit more good lager beer. Mmm, I love that flavor right there. Let's let it reduce down. We're concentrating flavors like I was telling you guys. Listen, down here in South Florida, for those of you who have never been to South Florida, if you tra travel to South Florida, we've got so much beautiful events, beautiful weather, palm trees. Another thing that we do around our, in, in South Florida, we do special events. Big events such as Sun Fest, Garlic Fest. We have done five Super Bowls as well. Those events, we feed thousands and thousands of people. They come out looking for some of our jerk chicken, some of our Floribian cuisine. That is a special event aspect of what we do. And the catering, of course, the weddings and the corporate events, oh, uh, it's a great thing. And also, catering, with a catering coach as well. Some of these young budding chefs who want to learn the craft, I teach them as well. So other than the catering, catering coaching and chef instructor, have a lot of fun doing that. So this is simmering down very, very nicely. So what I'm gonna do, this slurry that I made, I'm gonna stream this in. This is something you don't wanna add too fast. You wanna stream it in and watch it get semi-thick. Look at that. Once it hit the heat, it works instantaneously. Look at this. Perfect, beautiful. And if you add too much, you can always add more wine or some of that good lager beer, which I'm adding right here. And this shrimp scampi is looking and smelling amazing. Mmm! So what I'm gonna do next is this. I've got some unsalted cube butter. I'm gonna pull this off, and I'm gonna start working my butter into this sauce, making a nice, mounted, creamy texture sauce right here, okay? Let me turn this up just a little. It's looking so good. While this is here simmering down, and I'm working the butter in, let me give it a taste to make sure it's where I want it to be. Yes, yeah, smelling so good. Let me give this a little taste. Get my little tasting spoon. See what the cornstarch did? Nice and thick, and the butter is just gonna add extra body and more flavor to this. Let me taste this. Ooh, and I haven't even added salt yet, but it's tasting, ah, magnifique. Add some more butter. 
to that, while that's simmering down, we're gonna get some lemon juice and add to this dish as well. Cut some lemon, add some fresh lemon juice in here. We are cooking and we are having a good old time. Chef Winston Creations with a Floribian twist. The shrimp scampi you know and love just got elevated, that's right. It's looking so, so good. So while this is here simmering down a bit, I'm gonna take some fresh basil and I'm gonna take some fresh basil and chop it up for you guys so you can see. Let me just do a little cleaning situation here. Wipe this off a little bit. Perfect, perfect. So we're gonna just run this up and chiffonade this. You can chop, but I like chiffonading. Chiffonade is basically taking all the, sh the leaves together and we're gonna just julienne to make sure it's beautiful ribbon cuts in the food, okay? Look at this, guys. So while this is here simmering down, it's time to add the shrimp. Add the shrimp back in here to continue cooking. We're gonna turn it off. Let the heat continue cook the shrimp. And the smell, the look, what do you guys think? Look how beautiful this looks. And then I'm gonna take some of my basil and cascade that bad boy in there. Mm, love, love, love! Look at this. Mm, 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 mm. Now, I'm gonna add me some, we're gonna season it up, add some fresh black pepper, some salt, not too much now. And of course, I gotta taste it to make sure it tastes good. I like mine's a little spicy, but I'm gonna see what we're working with now. Yo, that's a winner. This is a winner. The only thing that's missing on this here, I like a little more kick. I'm gonna add some Chef Winston jerk seasoning. A lot of people like to add red pepper flakes, but just a little touch of my jerk seasoning will do the trick for this dish. And of course, I got some pasta that's cooked already. So what I'm gonna do, take my cooked pasta. You can use any kind of pasta. Bucatini, linguine, any type of teeny teeny pasta you wanna have, but I'm gonna use some linguine on this, right? Put my linguine inside, fold it up, get it nice and covered. Look at this here, mm. Let me get a pan, let me get a plate. Put this over here, tossed the pasta in this flavorful, buttery, garlicky, oh, smells so good sauce, and plate it up. Mmm, look at that. The Floribian shrimp scampi, fresh tomatoes, flesh Florida gulf shrimp that was seasoned with that jerk seasoning. Look at this. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Can you get, hey, the only thing that's almost missing is some nice toasty garlic bread, right? I'm gonna take some of this sauce. Can you guys see that? Look at this, look at this. Take some of this sauce and let it cascade over that. Just drizzle. Make this hair nice. Mmm. Clean it up. Get a piece of basil. Okay, you gotta make your food look nice. Make it look good. It gotta look as good as it's gonna taste, right? Put that in here. And we're gonna give this a taste and see what we're working with. Let me clean this up just a tad bit. What do you guys think? Chef Winston's creations with a Floribian twist. Shrimp scampi style, baby. Look at that. Yes. Let's give this a taste and see what we're working with. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I can taste the freshness of the basil. The shrimp stock brought this out even more. The butteriness of, oh my gosh. And the sauce, and the shrimp, and the tomatoes, the plump freshness of the tomatoes, brings it all home. Give this one a try at home, and tag Catering CC or Chef Winston Cooks. How you guys like that? Cheers.
Now it's time for most people's favorite parts, that sweet ending. We've got a beautiful dessert I'm gonna bring to you guys. Of course, with my twist, I'm gonna make you guys something that's nice, cool, and tastes so, so fresh. It's gonna be my island trifle. Most of you know this as a trifle, a classical dish. I like to take classical cuisine and put my Floribian twist to it. And that's what I'm gonna do here. First step. As you notice, all of my ingredients, all of my fresh ingredients, I got coconut, I've got blueberries, strawberries, mangoes, bananas, mo coconut. Can't forget the pound cake. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take my strawberries and I'm gonna macerate my strawberries. That's a fancy culinary term. What the heck is macerate? Macerate, basically I'm taking fresh fruit and I'm gonna soak it in some liquor. I'm gonna take some liquor and I'm gonna add some citruses to that and we're gonna soak it and let it absorb all of that liquor. We're gonna use some rum. Of course, being from the Caribbean, Chef Winston gonna bring that rum. That R-H-U-M. That's how we spell it sometimes. <laughs> okay, so strawberries, we're gonna macerate. As you can see, I'm slicing it up and it's gonna be a layer of beautifulness in this particular dish. So what I'm gonna do here Take my rum, pour over the strawberries. I got a little bit of sugar. Put some sugar on here, we gotta make it a little sweet. You can use some triple sec. You guys can use some grand menu if you wanna get extra fancy. But hey, we're using what's in the kitchen, right? So we got some sugar. And of course, put a little acid. I wanna take my handy microplane. If you guys do, a microplane basically is a little grater. You can use your box grater, shave it on the side, and this is what you're gonna get. Look at this. Can you guys get a close up on that? Look at all of that beautiful, we use only the green stuff, okay? We don't wanna go down to the white. The white part is bitter. We wanna get that nice citrus feel of what we're gonna make here, okay? And this is gonna take this dessert to another level. That's right. And of course, in South Florida, We've got citruses, citruses, and more citruses making it taste really, really good. So let me do this here. Ooh, yes. And I'm gonna take some of my lemon juice and squeeze inside here as well. Looking good. And this last one, slice it up, add this in here. We're macerating, baby. Look that word up. Google it if you don't understand what I'm talking about. Mix this up. We're gonna let this sit on the side for a while while we build our flavors. Let me taste this, make sure it's sweet enough for what I'm trying to accomplish here. Mmm, the rum. Mmm. Yo! A little more sugar. Just a little more sugar. When we start to build this, you guys are gonna be saying, Chef, I want some! I got you, I got you. So here we go. Moving right along, let's get rid of some of the garbage. Put this over here and continue building our sweet trifle. We got our glasses, I'll put our glasses over here. Let's continue building. What I've got here is some Greek yogurt, okay? You can use cream, whipped cream, but I'm gonna use some Greek yogurt. You could do this at home, it's so, so easy, and you're gonna impress your friends and family and even your date on a special date night. Easy to build. You can build, you can make this here a day in advance, early in the morning, keep it in the refrigerator. It's gonna be perfect the longer it sits. So what I got here, I've got me some <clears throat> vanilla yogurt. Some vanilla yogurt. I'm gonna add some toasted sweet coconut into my vanilla yogurt. Can you guys see that there? Mmm! And I'm gonna mix this up. Fold it in there, just a little bit more. I'm telling you, man, this dessert is gonna be a winner. It's gonna be a winner. Chef Winston Island Style Trifle. That's that one. We're gonna take some bananas. Let's get some bananas cut up in here as well. What I'm doing is just getting all of my ingredients together because once we start building, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. And I've got my blueberries. And look at what I got, my coconut. My handy vegetable peeler. We're gonna cut some coconut ribbons. Look how cool this look. 
coconut rib and just go crazy at it. This is not necessary, but you know, Chef Winston like to take it up. As a caterer, we always like to make our food look sexy and looks beautiful. Always want to bring that element of surprise. Extra, extra, extra over the top, making it nice, okay? Much flavor on this. So any kind of tropical fruit, seasonal fruit that you guys can find in your grocery store, it'll be great. I've made this here with carambola. You know carambola, the star fruit? I've made this here with uh, uh, unique peaches, plums, anything that's in season, you can use this for, okay? So let's start building. What I'm gonna do is this. I've got some basic pound cake. Basic, basic pound cake. You can bake your own pound cake, but why need to? Why, why, why should you? Go to the grocery store, get you some nice pound cake, get your glasses, and it's classes in session. Break it up. Look at what I'm doing. I'm breaking it up. Nothing fancy. Nothing difficult about this. Put that in there. That's step one. Okay? Step two, take your macerated strawberries smells so good we're gonna pour let me get a bigger spoon for this we're gonna take our strawberries we layer in and creating flavors and color at the same time okay flavor and color at the same time that's fine there so okay we're gonna get this here over here Get some of this juice as well. So, pound cake, macerated berries. Let me get some mangoes. Get some mangoes and I'm just gonna cut some mangoes, some mango chunks. Have you noticed, I'm sticking with the beautiful colors. We've got the yellows, we've got the reds. Put this right here. Yellows, our reds, and then our blues for our blueberry. Beautiful, beautiful dish. Take some blueberries, sprinkle on there. Oh, then we're gonna top it with our toasted coconut flavored yogurt. Put that in here. Just top it up. Mmm. We're gonna start it all over again. And this time, we're gonna add some bananas. Don't forget our bananas. This dessert is gonna be a showstopper after a beautiful meal with your wife, your husband, your friends, your family. Add some more pound cake. Just crumble it up, break it up. No, you know, ain't no big secret. It doesn't have to be all, there's, there's no rocket science to this. Just break, just break it up and make it look good. Mm, 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 mm. I can't wait to dive into this. This is going to be so good. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Take some of my strawberries. My macerated strawberries. Pour that in on top. We're almost at finished finishing stages. Wait till you guys see how I finish this off. You're going to be surprised. You're going to be impressed. You're going to be like, what? No, he didn't. Yes, I did. Just check this out. Check this out, check this out, check this out. And put a little bit more mango. Cut some more mangoes. Right here. Woo! We are working it. Work, work, work in it. Ah, macerated strawberries on here. Add a little bit more blueberries on top. Oh, I cannot wait. I gotta dive in and get me some. That's right. Now, next, we're gonna add some more. Actually, let me do this. Take some of this beautiful, we can't let this go to waste. This beautiful, flavorful rum that has turned into a rum strawberry. Take some of this and just pour. Just let this drizzle, let it cascade over the top, run down the sides. So once you stick your spoon in this, Every bite is gonna be beautiful. Then we're gonna top it off, of course, with some more of this beautiful yogurt that was flavored with toasted coconut. How are we gonna finish this? 
It's got more coming, guys. I'm gonna take some shaved coconut. The coconut that I shaved earlier. One more thing. I'm gonna put a little twist to it. You know, I always gotta bring something extra special. Let me say, Chef, you too much. Yes, I am. Look at what I got. Got some mini cookies. We added more color, more flavor, and texture. This is the crunch. When you're having dessert, you need something in your mouth. You need sweet, gushy, and texture. Why not? Look at what we're doing here, baby. We bring in Florida, the Caribbean, to you. If you ever been to any, to any one of the Caribbean islands, listening to some music, Calypso music, soca music, which I love, this represents it all. And then, of course, we finish it off and make it look pretty with our mint. How does this look? Put the mint on here. Some fresh, fresh mint. I cannot wait to dive in to this. My island, tropical, trifle. Quick recap, the macerated strawberries, rum, lime zest, lime juice, little bit of sugar. We let that sit for a while, and then we started layering with any kind of fresh fruit, seasonal fruit, pound cake, the yogurt that I did. I had some, some toasted coconuts that I folded into my yogurt to, made it, to give it extra flavor. We started layering and layering and layering. So much flavor, so much fun. This was the end, but you're gonna join me once again. Check this out. Let's go over a quick recap of all the good stuff we just did for you guys today. First, we started with one of my favorites, a cocktail, a good starter for any good date night or any good togetherness. We're gonna talk about coconut mojito. It was a coconut calypso cocktail, my calypso coconut cocktail, anything you wanna call it, but Chef Winston liked to put that little twist to it. Then we followed it up with an entree, shrimp scampi. The classical shrimp scampi that we know and love, but I put my little twist to it. I've added my special jerk seasoning to that. Make it, we woke up the flavors. This helped wake up any proteins that you added to. And we added some beer. We took the shrimp stock, some shells, made a be beautiful, delicious shrimp stock. Reduce that down, add butter, add wine, add beer, add, oh my goodness, it was a great party in your mouth. The next, what we did, finished it off with my tropical trifle. You guys can see all the beautiful layers, colors of the Caribbean. Everything is up in here, man, Floribian style. We've got coconut, we've got strawberries, bananas, mangoes. We got a little crunch, a little surprise on top. Before I go, I gotta give this a little taste so you guys can understand the beauty and the flavorness that we was working with this afternoon. It's falling all over the place. Oh! Mmm. Yo, this is a winner. Join me next time for Chef Winston's creation with a Floribian twist. Cheers.